Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So day 10 will take us to the 1st of January, New Year's Day. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS ECM ensembles. We're running to around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video. But the next four weeks gets us into second half of January. Okay, so that for you in a moment. Just say there's no 6 a.m. forecast. The reason being that I was recording the Christmas Day historic video. So that's in the can. And uh, you'll be able to see that on Christmas Day. It's a pretty good one uh, this year. Looking at the winter of 1854-1855. A proper, proper epic there for you to get your teeth into. So uh, that'll be released on Christmas and so I was very busy with that last night and uh, so therefore you know <laughs> I was no 6am forecast but it should be back tomorrow so please give us a like break search gym. I'm going to be live by where half 7 well 7 to half 7 so we'll play it by ear but like 7 ish 7.30 I'm doing a live stream going from 12 there be a quick 12 then uh, round up so just to say that if you're enjoying the content on our channel and have enjoyed it through this year please can you consider giving a donation to Gazmo's this Gazmo's PayPal page so it's Come here, find the link in the description, come here, sign into your PayPal account, and then you can donate whatever you like to gas, whether it's we will give you a shout out, or I'll give you a shout out and say Merry Christmas to you. So you might want a Christmas message for yourself or somebody else, and we're very happy to do that. You'll be helping to pay for the channel. So thank you, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. I say the link is in the description uh, with this uh, video first thing in the description. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for all of the support. Over all of these many, many years. Right, okay, let's start off uh, this 10 to 14 day. We're blades equipped from that from Earth, NoldSchool.net. Shines, signs of a change. Low pressure moving down. Southwest approaches, winds turning around into more of an easterly direction. Very uh, damp and uh, whatnot at the moment across the country. Uh, lots of low cloud, lots of mist, lots of murk uh, and uh, fog patches and all of that kind of thing uh, at the moment. So it's a very damp and gloomy air map. Eventually, these easy winds will bring drier air in from the uh, east and clear away a lot of the gloom. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 7.7. .7. That is 3.1 degree above the 61 to 99 average and it provisional to uh, yesterday to the 21st of December. So even though we're ending the month on a, going to end the month on a cold though, it is actually going to be a very mild December to say the least. These were GFS up rare temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks on London today, the red line is a 30 year of rare temperature actual London. So you have above average with your rare temperature at the moment. They're going to come down and uh, become cold as we go into uh, Christmas. And then we're going to lift back up again. That's in the upper atmosphere, but on the surface, it will probably stay uh, quite cold, to be honest. And then a cooling trend as we approach the uh, new year, potentially turning quite cold into the first week of January. Precipitation wise, well, we see a lot of dry weather to come now, uh, between now and the new year. Possibly some precipitation spikes into early uh, January, but of course, is a long way off. Snow row looks like that. No, quite encouraging for snow spikes there. Not really around Christmas now, but uh, push back in towards the uh, New Year and early January period. That's um, London, go a bit further north to Northampton. Looks like that. That's a bit more encouraging. I mean, up to Sheffield, where it always does well for snow. <laughs> um, uh, looking even more encouraging. But again, it's all extended stuff. And not much now for Christmas. So at one point, it looked like we might get some snow over Christmas. But I don't think it's going to be much around over Christmas. It's going to be mostly dry and cold Christmas, I think, this year. Temperature normally is. It's five days, 27 December. A little bit above average in the north and northeast. A little bit below average in the south of the southwest. 10 to 14 day. Looks like that. Most areas colder than normal. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, 29th of December. Most places are drier than average. Okay, hold on. <coughs> so, sorry, everyone. Right, uh, let's start, start going through the chart data. I'm not going to touch on the 12th today at all for this update. Reason being that we're going to do a live stream uh, around 7, half 7, and uh, we'll have a look at 12Z in the live. So I don't want to let any cats out of the bag then. So this will be focusing on the midnight 
and uh, six then GFS runs. Right, starting off with the UK, mate. Your run for uh, Christmas Day, high pressure at Scandinavia, but it's southern Scandinavia, meaning that most of the easterly wings are passing through to our south. It's playing this a few days ago. The high centre there around Denmark means that the uh, easterly wings will travel through uh, Germany and also into France. You get a proper classic easterly and a proper classic sort of Scandinavian high. We need the high pressure to be centred up there really, a bit further north and then that brings the wind in to the UK and into Ireland as well. Nevertheless, it will still be cold and we should clear a lot of the gloom and mist and murk and what not out of the way as well. Right, so uh, let's run through then with this GFS run. Lots of anti-climate conditions continuing between Christmas and also uh, the New Year, heading up towards uh, the beginning of next week. That's Monday 29th, still high pressure in control. Mostly dry, quiet weather, probably a lot of frost and fog, and we're waiting to see whether that high goes anywhere. Interesting. Now, Icon has uh, got 12Z out already, but we can look at the midnight Icon run. Again, well, perhaps a bit more of an easterly there on Christmas Day. Might bring some wintry showers into the south. But essentially, this is a dry and cold Christmas with high pressure in control and in the ascendancy. Again, probably with quite a bit of frost and fog. Okay, um, we've got KMA, which looks like this. Again, perhaps a little bit more of an easterly down in the south on Christmas Day. But you see, the cold pool with those east winds actually travelling through France. I think there'll be some snow and white Christmas for northern parts of France. But for central southern England, probably not not much. And definitely not much anywhere further north under the centre of that area of high pressure. And high pressure is just dominating the weather. More or less so, we coach it's a tense high too at 1,045 millibars between Christmas and the New Year, trying to get the high pressure up to Greens and Iceland there as we're approaching uh, the New Year, and do so to some degree. So, bit, bit in between, in between, but just about starting to pull in some uh, much colder air into the north and the east, but probably going to top of the high and bring milder air back in, actually, beyond the 3rd of January there. Right, well, let's go through the two GFS runs we want to look at. So, again, 12Z coming out right now. We're not interested in that one. Instead, we're going to look at the midnight uh, GFS. And, again, we've got those east winds down the south on Christmas Day. Will be quite a cold Christmas with the risk of overnight frost and fog. Well, that was a little teaser. <laughs> that bit of cat out of bag there, didn't I? So, Christmas and New Year, high pressure sitting across the country, probably bringing quite a bit of frost and fog. Will that high pressure... Going where interesting. Well, New Year's Eve starts going to retrograde. Down comes this northerly blast as we head into the opening days of January. And yeah, check that out. It's the 3rd of January proper northerly blast going on there. So cold and wintry through the first week of January. Looks like a bit of a topler. I have to say, though. So by the 7th of January, we're back into something a bit milder, coming in around the top of the high from off the Atlantic. But quite a cold opening week to January. Of course, Christmas week is cold there as well. It's not snowy, but it's cold uh, with frost and fog. Um, so that's a cold couple of weeks there from uh, the uh, GFS Midnight Rubber. Six then looks like this. Again, we've got those easy winds into the south. Could be a few wintry showers through there. Otherwise, high pressure is just dominating the weather between Christmas and New Year. Bring a lot of dry conditions. Could be frost and fog mixed in. Again, we'll take high pressure anyway. Interesting. So New Year's Eve, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Bit of a northerly. Trying to get going, but not sending my send, not trying to send him a high pressure. Sorry, sorry, we're not sending high pressure up to green and ice. But eventually, we do get like a northerly blast. This looks quite bizarre. So the high pressure is actually sinking back to the Azores there. Um, but reaching the same place over Greenland, which is quite odd. Uh, but anyway, we go into a northerly blast uh, later on in the first week of January. Turn properly cold and wintering with that low plunging southwards. Ending up like that, cold and wintering in those northerly winds and snow coming into the north and into the east. That's pretty cold with the first week 
of uh, of January there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Rovers and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We need to put on around 15 one by subscribers to get 20.8k. If you could get a sub, that'd be absolutely mm -hmm. awesome. And again, don't forget our PayPal page if you could give a donation to Gaz Rovers and, uh, you know, uh, 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 give a donation for Christmas and help pay for the channel. That'd be awesome. And we'll give a shout out in the vids and say Merry Christmas to you if you want one. And we thank you so much everyone for giving that link to our PayPal page in the description with the video. GM, again, my trials day coming out. We won't dwell on that. We'll go through to the Midnight GM instead. So again, got those easterly wings and uh, quite cold conditions. Christmas Day, high pressure and dominate between Christmas and the New Year. Keeping the dry weather going, high pressure sitting over top of the tree as we head on into the new year. Not taking that high pressure anywhere, particularly interesting. Just like to bring some milder air in around the top of the high uh, from the Atlantic by New Year's Day. Disappointing for cold is that one. And then the ECM rounding it all off again. We've got those easy winds on Christmas Day. Could bring some wintry showers into cell. And in southeast, then high pressure is in control, sitting over the top of the country. High pressure dominating the weather between Christmas and the New Year. Are we going to get that high pressure anywhere? Interesting. No, we're flattening off the ridge, collapsing it, and reintroducing milder westerly winds. So into the New Year, first week of January, just turning milder, wetter, windier. A bit of a hint of a northerly would only be very brief and temporary, though. There's no north block to sustain it, but a bit of a hint of a northerly there by the 6th of January. Again, very disappointing for cold is from uh, the ECM there. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometro.com. So, easterly winds bring quite a lot of dry weather over the uh, next few days. Mm, some drifts and drives of rain coming and going, but not much going on. And certainly not much in the way of snow. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to New Year's Day. 14 members of the ECM ensembles with a mid-Atlantic ridge, a trough to the east. That brings down a northerly flow. We've got 11 with high pressure again to the west, starting to bring in more of an Atlantic flow around the top of high bow. We've got 10 high pressure a bit further north towards Greenland there, pressure to our south and east. That brings in more of a north or a northeasterly. We've got another 10 with high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure way to the east. Again, that brings the wind in to the north and to the northeast. And then we've got six with high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure to our south and east. And once more with that, bringing in the winds from the uh, northeast. Most of the options have a high pressure ridge out to the west. It's that position to be determined. And then in two time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 6th of January. So 20 members of the ECM ensembles have a high pressure to the west and northwest, low pressure south and southeast. That should bring wind in for colder easterly direction. We've got 16 with high pressure to the south. Looks like that should be flat and westerly milder. And then we've got 15 with high pressure again in the Atlantic towards green, low pressure to the south and east. That looks like it should be cold. Um, I think it's time the operational run, but actually, no, the operational run turning milder with westerly winds by uh, two weeks out. So I'm not sure what's going on there. A bit inconclusive, I think, when we're looking at two weeks out. In 10 days' time, high pressure is going to be close to us, probably sitting somewhere to the west. It's how far to the northwest that high is where we open the door to colder north or northeast. It's CFSB2, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar. High to noise, breaking down into wheat pits. The first wheat pit takes us from the 22nd to 28th of December. We're next week, with high pressure in Iceland and Scotland. Winds coming in from the east, low pressure down towards Spain. So it's going to be a lot of dry weather uh, and, uh, and quite chilly with those easy winds. Week two. It's going to be 29th of December to 4th of January. High pressure between Iceland and Scotland. Low pressure into the west of uh, Russia. And uh, winds coming in from the north and from the northeast. The coldest of the air is across eastern, northern, northeast Europe with that trough. We're tapping into it to some degree, but not as much as further east across eastern Europe. However, this does look colder. This is week three. It's the 5th to the 11th of January. So high pressure out in the Atlantic. Low pressure below average heights to our south and southeast. 
degrees and that should bring the wind in uh, from a proper easterly source as well so that could be really quite a cold week there and then uh, week two rounds it all off it's the 12th to the 18th of january High pressure ridging into the west of Europe from the northwest. Should be mostly dry, but probably quite cold under that area of high pressure. Wind still generally from a northerly type direction. But given we don't even know what's happening, uh, you know, for the new year, I think, like, we need the trail to be 18th of January alone for the time being, and we'll worry about that closer to the time. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for showing everyone for doing that. Make sure to drop a comment. Let's know if you've got this on all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Lovies and get subscribed to. Thanks for showing everyone uh, for doing that. And could give us a donation via a paper page. That would be amazing. So I'm going to be live with you between 7 and half 7. We've seen sometime around 7 ish. I don't know the exact time. 7 to half 7. And uh, we'll go through the trials. There'll be trials there round up. And uh, that's going to be nice. So I shall see you a little bit later on this evening for that one. But this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.